we think about urban, usually that's a word that people stay away from. Why is this the name of a television show? Um, it's Urban Avenue. That's the that's the, we actually like the name the urban. I like uh, you said people stay away from. I've been kind of um, I've heard that once or twice, but not me. I'm all right with it. But it's called the Urbans because of uh, uh, that's the nickname for the business owners on Urban Avenue. So it's called the Urbans because of the nickname of of, of the business owners. Y'all have a show that basically has a lot of the legends, you know, folks that we love to see. We've been seeing on TV for so long. What was it like making this project? Um, wonderful. I mean, it started off small with Tyler Craig was the first person that kind of got it rolling with us. He's a, a famous comedian. Um, and then we moved up. We moved up to Rodney Perry. Rodney Perry got involved in it. And that just... That just elevated everything. We were lucky to have him. Um, then we moved up to Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell moved up. Uh, that moved us up. Uh, Bernadette Stainers. Yeah, for, for me, it kind of made everything. You know, there there are people that make you legitimate. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like for, for me personally, like I was doing stand up comedy, right? But then when I did the Apollo, my family started going, Are you serious? And certain certain people, Clifton Powell is one of those people, Bernadette Stannis is one of those people, and uh on some level Rodney Perry is one of those people as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's talking about for me. For me, that was an elevation. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So I mean, why is this a TV show we need? So I mean, why is this a TV show we need to watch? You know, we've been looking for our sitcoms to come back, but is this the one that's gonna be the rejuvenation that we need? It's very different. It's very different. It's not in your face. Um it's a thinking man's comedy. Um my brother and I put a lot of thought into the writing of it. We don't, we, we, we try to make the comedy as natural. Well, not even, we don't even try. We, we just make it as natural as we can. It's more deadpan. Um, there's a lot of thought going into it. Um, uh, and, and, and it's, it's, it, it'll make you feel it, it has a very intelligent, um, creative feel to it. You know, it's going to be different and you're going to walk away from it feeling like, okay, all right, I like I like these guys. I like the vibe. They make me feel good. I'm, I'm glad to be I'm glad to be a part of this group of people. It was in the vein of shows like Seinfeld and The Office. It was that type of comedy. And you know, a lot of times, you know, when you're African American and you and, and you hear comedy, you hear, you know, the big stuff like you would see on Tyler Perry or the big Martin Lawrence type comedy. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this was just a different note. You know, if, if it was music, it would be it would be uh jazz. You know what I mean? And so it, it was a cool jazz feel. And to to play on screen with, with Mr. Saeed and his brother was nothing short of amazing. 